morning students today we are starting chapter 2 that is components of food this chapter deals with nutrients the different components of food balanced diet and deficiency diseases we can start this lesson with the nutrients what are nutrients ingredients of food contain some components that are needed to our body ingredients of food contain some components that are needed to our body and that needed components and that components are called the nutrients mainly the nutrients are in our food are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals these are the nutrients present in the food besides these nutrients our food also need our body also need water and dietary fibers water and dietary fibers are also needed to our body okay let us learn carbohydrates what are carbohydrates carbohydrates are called energy giving food. energy giving food that means energy needed to our body are provided by these carbohydrates carbohydrates give our body energy for doing different works so carbohydrates are called energy giving food let us see some examples of carbohydrates rice wheat sugar potato all these are the food rich with the carbohydrates so carbohydrates are called the energy giving food then let us uh, uh, there are different types of carbohydrates in our food. mainly we are taking two types of carbohydrates that is starch and sugar in our food carbohydrate is present in two forms starch and sugar now let us learn a test to identify starch test test to identify starch for that take a small quantity of food diet small quantity of food diet and 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution in that food item add 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution then observe whether the solution shows any color change a bluish black color indicates the presence of starch in the food item after adding iodine solution to a small quantity of food item if the solution shows a bluish black color we can infer that the food item contain starch so this is a test to identify starch in the food item okay then next is proteins 
Next nucleon is a protein. What are proteins? Proteins are called body building food. Body building food. Proteins are called body building food. Why proteins are called body building food? Proteins help the cells of our to uh, help the body to build the cells and repair the tear torn out cells. Okay, they help in building the body, repair the cells, and also growth of the body, help in the growth of the body. So, proteins help in repairing the cells and also help in the growth of the body. That is helping building the cell. So, they, these proteins are called a body building food. Say so, examples to protein. Milk. Egg. Meat. Fish. All these are a food rich with a protein. So, proteins are called a body building food. Now, let us learn a test to identify protein. For that, take a small quantity of food item. Grind it or powder it. To that, add 10 drops of water. 10 drops of water to the food item. Okay. Then add 2 drops of copper sulfate. 2 drops of copper sulfate. Shake the solution well. Then again add 10 drops of Caustic soda. 10 drops of caustic soda. It is an alkali. So, to identify a protein in the food item, first take a small quantity of food item, then add 10 drops of water, then shake well, then again 2 drops of copper sulfate, and again 10 drops of caustic soda. Shake the solution well and observe. A violet color indicates. A violet color indicates the presence of protein in the food item. If the solution shows a violet color, we can infer that the food item contains protein. So, this is a test to identify protein. Then next we go to Fats. Fats are also called energy giving food. Fats are also called energy giving food. Fats give more energy than carbohydrates. So we can say carbohydrates and fats together called energy giving food. Say examples to fat rich food. Nuts. Oil. Then meat. Fish. All these are rich with the fats. Again, we can say, we can study a test to identify fats. It is a very simple test. 
take the small take a small quantity of food item then wrap that food item in a paper or cover the food with a paper then crush it without tearing the paper squeeze just squeeze or crush the paper after some time you open the paper straighten the paper then observe if an oily patch is present oily patch if an oily patch is present in the paper that shows the presence of fat okay very simple test to identify fats then take your textbook page number 11 then they are given some sources of pictures are showing the sources of carbohydrates see what are the sources of carbohydrates potato sweet potato wheat rice bajra maize mango melon papaya sugarcane and potato then again figure 2.4 shows sources of fats plant sources and animal sources what are they groundnut sunflower oil mustard oil different types of oils coconut oil soya bean oil nuts then animal sources include meat ghee milk butter cream then turn the page page number 12 figure 2.5 showing some sources of proteins that is plant sources and animal sources plant sources include peas gram moo tuber dal beans soya bean then animal sources egg milk meat fish paneer etc then again okay okay so we completed this carbohydrates fats and proteins that's all today and then uh, you take down the questions Okay, thank you.